Hello again. In this video, we're going to go through how to use the iQuestions feature of this program. Right now, we're opened up into the primary folder where we have this program located. Blog URLs, profiles, report, all clearly labeled and easy to see. Um, now, why don't we click on the icon and get the program opening. You'll find with blog URLs, it stores your list of previously targeted scraped blogs. The profiles folder will store different profiles for your various projects, and the report will show the results from your previous program runs. We just made a second. Here we go. We've got it open. Let's click Browse. Okay. Now it's opened right up into Profiles, but why don't I show you how you get to here in case it um, isn't opening up directly for you. What you're going to go in and you're going to want to find the folder where you have the program located. So that's right here. And then within here, we're going to click on Profiles. We're going to open that up, and we're going to select the profile that we created in the previous video. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to click on the Comment and Scrape tab up here. All right, let's go through this. Right here, this is where you're going to want to enter the keywords that you're looking to target. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of different options here, so you can customize the program to run for your specified keyword and the type of blogs you're looking to target. I'll go into more detail on some of these in, uh, options in just a minute. Now to get started, let me show you where you have the option to choose top level domains so that you can target high authority and high page rank sites such as .edu or .gov or geographically specific blogs. Next we have the option to choose how many blogs we'd like to scrape. Next, a major feature of this program is the ability to hide your identity by using proxy servers. To make this more powerful and optimize speed, you can select how many times the program uses a proxy before switching to a new proxy. The spin option allows you to integrate with the best spinner, so each post comment becomes unique. The greetings option allows you to personalize each post. I'll show you more about that later in this video. We're just going to select that for now, though. And we're going to select proxy and we'll leave it at three, that's a good number, and we will select spin so that we have some unique comments to work with. Now we can select type of comment. With the iQuestion option, the program finds intelligent questions that match the keyword targeted blog and its contents. Over on the right here, you see suggested keywords. This is where the program will suggest keywords for you to use in future runs. Now let's select the type of blog that we're looking to target. You have several options here custom footprints, WordPress, blog engine, movable type. Here you have the option to target a Google specific geographic area. Now why don't we get started? Let's type in some keywords. We'll do how to make a website. And we want to keep it on 100. United States, good. Let's, we're going to stick with iQuestions for this video and hit play. Now what you're going to see that's great about this program is that you get to actually watch in real time as it works. Right here this is our status window that we get to watch. The progress bar at the bottom will show you what blog number you're on, your success and fail rates. Now this keyword name right here, how to design a website, was taken from the profile and there's the URL that you are backlinking for as well as the email and as you can see it interfaces with Google seamlessly it's saving your preferences and it follows Google best practices which uh, is really a fantastic feature for a piece of software like this as you can see it started scraping you can see that in the status bar at the bottom of the window there and it just takes a couple seconds and you've got a hundred blogs scraped just like that and it tells you that the scraping is done. This really allows you to see why this is such a powerful piece of software. And it looks like it's ready to go. It's going to tell you to sit back and relax and the program's going to do all the work for you. If you have any questions or would like some tips on how to get the maximum benefit out of using this software, please refer to the manual or the Backlinking Ninja ebook that was provided with this software. Let's take a look and see how the program's coming along. It's scraping comments, 
As you can see, it's spinning comments, and that was a success. This is fantastic. You can see real time as it's working. The next thing we're going to see is that the program will automatically fill in the various fields for you, the keyword names, the URL, and the email field. And next we'll see, yep, there it goes. And it's filling in the comment field for us. Let's pause for a minute. As you can see, it has personalized the comment by addressing it to the blog author because we selected the greetings option earlier. When we look at the comment, it looks relative and on target, and it finishes off with a question, what can I do? And it has a great sign off, all the best. So that looks good. Let's scroll up and take a look at some of the comments as well as the blog itself. Just go up a little more. Okay, here we are. 35 funny photo editing sites, so that's relative. Okay, um, and as you can see here, posted by, we did include the author's name when we personalized the comment below, which will increase your chances of having your comment approved. Let's just scroll down and take a look at some of the um, comments that are already on here. Oh, and we see a picture of the blog author himself right there. And if we just take a look at some of these comments, you can see that our comment is of a higher quality than what he's already previously approved. So that's good news for us. Um, we stand a pretty good chance of having him approve our comment. The name field, as you can see, this was um, spin text from your profile. We've got the proper website in for the backlinking. Uh, the next thing the program's going to do is it's going to take our comment and it's going to post it for us. We're going to hit play. Once again, if you have any questions or you're looking for some tips and suggestions for how you can get the maximum benefit out of this software, please refer to the manual and the Backlinking Ninja ebook that came along with this software. Let's take a look at our comment. There it is. That looks great. All right, I'll see you in the next video.